In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Bloom shortcodes. Now what a shortcode is, is a little piece of code that you can copy and paste into a post or a page right into the WordPress post editor to display a specific opt-in form. This means you have full control over where that form appears within the post. Now, shortcodes only apply to two different opt-in types in Bloom, and that is the locked content opt-in and the inline opt-in. Now, whenever you create one of these two different types of opt-in forms, you're going to get a short code that you can use to display that form anywhere on your website. So here I'm in my opt-in management tab, and you see I have an opt-in that I've created here, a locked content opt-in. And you'll see that this opt-in has a, has a different button here. This is the short code button. You'll notice my other opt-ins, a lot of them don't have it. That's because short codes only apply to locked content and inline opt-in forms. And so if I, and if I were to press this uh, icon here, I'm going to get a pop-up and it's going to tell me exactly what uh, that short code is that I need to use to display that opt-in form on my website. So I would just copy and paste that short code um, into any poster page and the opt-in form is going to appear. Now, um, like I said, this only applies to locked content and inline opt-in form. So if I were to create a new inline opt-in form, I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to go into all the different design settings and stuff. We have different tutorials that go over design settings and account creation. So I'm just going to uh, go through this pretty quickly here. I'm going to name my form. I'm going to select my mailing list account and select the list I'd like to use for this form. And then I'm going to move on to the design options and select my pre-made template. And then I'm going to go over to the design customization settings and here I can adjust the design. I'm going to preview it here and, and you know what, it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to change any settings. I think it looks great the way it is, but you're free to, you know, customize all these settings. And like I said, go check out the design customization tutorial for more about that. I'm just going to focus on the short code aspect in this, in this tutorial. So after you've, cr you've finished designing your inline opt-in, you're going to see a button here at the end called generate short code. And if you click this, it's going to give you the short code that you need to display that opt-in form. So if I were to copy and paste this opt-in, uh, this short code, into a post, it's going to display the opt-in form that I just created. And unlike, you know, the, the pop-up opt-in um, and the below the post opt-in, there's no display settings tab in, in this opt-in creation process. That's because we're not choosing where to display this opt-in form within the opt-in creation process. Our choice to display the opt-in is our choice to copy and paste that shortcode into a post. So th that's where we're actually you know, controlling where the opt-in appears. It's where we put that short code. So like I said, you can copy and paste that short code. And once you've copied it, save and exit. And uh, you'll see that the inline opt-in that I created appears here. And just like the locked content, it has a short code button that I can click at any time and copy and paste that short code in, uh, into a post. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to head over to our website. I'm going to browse one of our posts here. And I'd like to add this uh, um, opt-in form on this post right after the quote. So I'm going to edit the post. I'm just going to paste in that short code right into the post editor, just like that. And if we update the post, that form I just created is going to appear right where I uh, placed that short code. So let's view the post and scroll down. And as you can see, that opt-in form appears. So what's great about the inline and locked content um, opt-in forms is that you have really have full control over exactly where that opt-in form appears because um, it generates that shortcode. Now, I've shown you how to copy and paste a shortcode from within the Bloom settings panel, but you can also uh, locate all of your active um, shortcodes right here using the Bloom uh, shortcode button here in the post editor. So if I were to click this, I'm going to get a list of all the of the all the active opt-ins that I can add to my post. And so here's the inline opt-in that we just created, and here's the locked content opt-in that I already had created. So if I were to copy and paste that shortcode, just like that, select it, it's going to add it automatically. And if I were to view my post now, well that other opt-in is going to be added as well. So now we have two different shortcodes added, one for each of the opt-ins that I have active. And we're going to see them both added to our page here. There's the inline opt-in, and there's my locked content opt-in that I just added <coughs> using that um, button within the post editor. So going back to my post, um, 
no need to have two opt-ins on this page. So I'm going to delete my inline opt-in. So now all we have is that locked content opt-in. And uh, if you look at the locked content opt-in shortcode, it's a little bit different than the inline shortcode. It actually has two parts to it. This first part here and the second part here. And the reason there's two parts is because you can use this shortcode to wrap itself around content that you want to lock. Now, and if you want some more information about exactly how to use the locked content opt-in, we have a whole tutorial for that. I'm just going to go over the shortcode aspect and just show you this shortcode is a little bit different because it has these two parts. So let's just say we have this post and the post is about this ebook that I just wrote. And I'd like to give a downloadable access to that ebook. But I only want people who subscribe to our list to access it. And so cre I created this locked content opt-in. And I'd like, it to, I'd like to use this locked content opt-in as kind of like a paywall to access that download link. So all I need to do is wrap the download link that I want hidden um, in uh, between these two pieces of the shortcode. So if I were to say download here, and I if I were to link this, you know, to my download link, let's say I had some ebook and it was located here. Well, now when someone views the post, they're not going to get access to that download link until they sign up to our list. So I'm going to update. And then once the page is updated, we'll check out our new opt-in. And if we scroll down, you'll see that the inline opt-in that we had before has been deleted because I deleted that shortcode. And the only shortcode left in our post is that locked content shortcode. It's right here. And it's been wrapped around that download link. So you can see that that download here, it doesn't show up because they have to opt in first um, to get that to get the access to that link. So that's how you use um, the locked content shortcode and the inline shortcode. And so yeah, that's a basic overview of using shortcodes in Bloom.